Hi, my beautiful butterflies. It has been too long, so I'm coming today with with a new video. I'm going to be testing out the new Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I've been using it for about a couple weeks now because I wanted to get like a real idea of what it is before I did this video. So you can tell my brush is a little dirty on both sides. Sorry about that. So it comes in this circular um, container. Um, the shifter is like you just shake it like this or you can tip it over and the powder is translucent and it's like a cream color. Um, there's an H at the end of the shifter. And then, um, yeah, I think the Hourglass like um, product is really good so far. I'm gonna show you guys how it applies when I use concealer. I'm gonna do like um, if there's any flashback, if there's any creasing and stuff like that, so stay tuned. So now I'm going to go in with the Kat Von D6 and this is my concealer I'm gonna be using today. I've been using a lot of her products lately and I really love them. And it has some yellow tones in it, which is good because I have some dark circles. So I need to cover them up. There, a little down my nose. Okay, and I'm just gonna put a little bit in between my eyebrows. I'm making some butterfly wings here, guys. Right here. Okay. I'm gonna take a beauty blender and I'm just going to pat that in there. Make sure it's even. I know it's been forever, and I am so sorry, guys. I've been so busy, and YouTube. Um, is not my primary job, but I do love you guys so much and it's definitely um, a breath of fresh air when I come to you guys and do these videos and I talk to you guys about different products and stuff, but I've been so busy with my primary job and my family that I just haven't had time to do as many videos as I wanted, but I have all these new products I want to show you guys and I'm so excited. As you can see, that definitely did the trick, definitely covered it up. Um, this is the KKW again in the color 6 Conceal. Um, cute packaging as well. I did a video on this with the Kylie Jenner um, concealer as well, and it's really a cute video, so you should go check that out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. So I'm going to go in now with the translucent powder, and I'm going to do a um, comparison because you guys all know that Kat Von D Locket is my favorite 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 setting powder I've been using it for like over a year and then I just started using this one for the last two weeks and I'm gonna say I use this one every single day I even set my whole face with it when I feel like my foundation is too oily or if it's like gonna be a hot and sweaty day in the climate that I live in I definitely set my whole foundation so I'm gonna go in first with the cat uh, Von D I'm gonna use it on my right side of my face and we're gonna do a comparison again it's like the same color um, the shifter is a little bit bigger. Um, it's not an H, obviously, or a Kat Von D for a K. Um, but uh, yeah, so hold on just a second so I don't make a mess. Take a beauty blender, dab some in there, and then just bake my face. this side of my face. It's kind of hard to divide the center, but we're trying here. So that is good. All right. Now that we have the cat locket um, translucent powder on the right side of my face, I'm going to go in with the hourglass veil. I love the packaging. It's so sleek and cute. And I'm going to show you guys that it has an H in the center. I just tap with my brush. I use the big side um, just to get some more coverage, but the little side is for definitely underneath your eyes and to cut corners, but I don't mind the big side. The brush is so soft and it is so cute and it says hourglass on the brush. So I'm going to use this powder and then I'm going to show you guys the sifter. So the sifter is an H. Oop, I hope it's not spilling out. A little bit of it did. Um, but it's an H and then you shake it 
and then just more product comes out. I'm going to take that Beauty Blender I used Kat Von D, clean it off, and I'm going to use the sifter. I'm going to see if it picks up more. That's better. So I'm going to let that bake for a couple minutes and I'll be right back. In a couple minutes, I'm just going to take the fluffy part of the brush, clean it off, and I'm just going to sweep the hourglass powder away from my face. And for the other side of my face with the Kat Von D, I'm just going to take a tart brush and I'm just going to sweep that powder away from my face. Now I'm going to get up close and personal with my I said camera. I'm gonna get up close and personal with a mirror and I'm going to look at like my pores. So I feel if I look closely, they almost have the same consistency, but the hourglass has a little bit more yellow tone. My pores are filled in. Um, my concealer doesn't look creased and it definitely looks like it blends in well it feels very soft on both sides so i'm gonna give it a few more minutes i'm gonna go off camera i'm gonna do my contour and i'll be right all back. right so i did a small contour and some areas of my face because i'm trying to go light today it's very hot today and i think i'm gonna lay by the pool so with that being said um i just want to say now that it's been about five more minutes I don't see any patchiness or anything with the hourglass I don't see any unevenness um, it's a good translucent powder for what I can see I've been using it for two weeks I used it all over my face when I use like very oily um, foundations and I also used it under my eyes and where I wanted to cut my um, contour and stuff um, now that I'm comparing the both, I don't see a big change, except I do see that it's a little softer. Um, it's a little softer in the way it looks after it sets, and Kat Von D just blends in with the skin. So, um, since I've been using Kat Von D for a year, I definitely love, love, love the product. I've tried Laura Mercier, and it isn't that I didn't love the product, I just felt like Kat Von D worked best for me. Um, but I really do like hourglass so I'm going to use this entire um, jar that they sent me and I'm going to probably rebuy this product so um, yeah guys so thanks for tuning in I just wanted to do something light and natural today mm, probably just gonna put some chapstick on go put my swimsuit on and lay by the pool so yeah if you guys like this video please like and subscribe I've got a ton of new products that has came to me and products that I bought myself that I want to show you guys so I'll be seeing you soon. Have a great one, my butterflies. Bye.